Oh no. Oh. Pat us in. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm back with another Bolton episode. First episode, uh, I did pre-season, got to the semi-final. Now, uh, th for this month, uh, for this episode, I'm going to be doing all of August. I'm going to be playing West Brom and Sheffield United and simming the other three. Um, and, of course, got Burton in the cup. I have off-camera, I have checked, I have... Uh, scouted, got some other people scouted as well. Um, so let's see what happens. Transfer offer for Sammy Amiobi. Uh, the other one was Callum Connolly in the last episode. Uh, no. Definitely not selling Amiobi. I'm going to make a bid for Scott Kashkep. I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right still, but... Well, as you can see, we didn't get Scott Cashcut, so we might have to just go back in for him. However, Alfie Jones. Yes. Okay, there we go. Alfie Jones is now one of us. West Brom away, we will be playing. So this is the team we're going with for this one. Hall up top and Vela in behind. That's the only two changes that we've made. Oh no. Oh, yes, Remy Matthews. Easy one for him. Ooh. Well blocked by Mark Beavers. Let's just hope nothing comes from the corner. Yes, Sammy Obi. Grant Hall making his Bolton Wanderers debut. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Come on, Baylor. This is going to be the most boring game ever to edit. Oh no. And he does that. Well, that's going to go down as one of the highlights of the game so far. Which says it all about the quality. Alright, come on. Ah, oh, yes, Baylor. Buckley. Baylor, oh, that was terrible. Another highlight. Oh, that was terrible touch by David Wheater. Just gave them the ball. Well, that was. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay. Screw it. Let's go for it. Oh. oh. Okay. As if that has just happened. After a half where we held them off for so long, and they go and do that. I'm gonna s change my playing, my defensive style in a minute. Oh, I nearly conceded a, a header to Wes Hulahan. Right. Ostuma finds Buckley. Clayton Donaldson. And Sammy Amiobi. Oh, Kieran Gibbs. Good tackle. Right. Let's have Oz Tuma take this one. Oh. Terrible corner. No. Oh, terrible touch there, but Connolly. 
Oh, I'm not very happy with Clayton Donaldson being my first choice at the moment. Okay, so we desperately need a striker. That's what I'm getting from this. Yes, Beavers. Um, defensively, we're okay. Bear in mind, we are up against a very good West Brom side. So, but we definitely need a striker with a better touch. And there we have it. We lose. First game of the season, and it was an absolutely rubbish game. I'm not going to be able to get much highlights out of that one. So I may play an extra game, because that frankly was a rubbish. Just, yeah. I might play, the, I'll play the Reading game extra, because we're more likely to get a result out of that one. Loan offer for Jack Earring. Don't know who the club are, but sure, Hartsburg. Yes, we'll go back in for Scott Cash Kit. Transfer offer for Taylor. Transfer offer for Andrew Taylor. That's going to be no, because he's my number one left back at the moment. To simulate this one. It's at home to Bristol City. Oh, let's see what happens. Yellow card for Taylor, of course. And of course, we then go 1 0 down. Casey Palmer. Failure is on for Williams, and it's 2-0. Oh, and Scott Cashkit gets one. There we go. So, two games played, two defeats. Okay, away to Burton Albion. This team should, theoretically, be able to win. But this is Bolton Wanderers, and we don't do things the easy way here. Yes, we have the lead in the game. Craig Noon. He might have to go into my first team. Just because, you know, he actually scored a goal. Let's see. Clayton Donaldson. He's not going into my first team because, you know, he's got a cash kit. And Josh Vela. He might potentially be in my first team. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Uh, so we're into the next round. So that adds another game into our month. Ooh, an offer for Will Buckley, huh? No. He's the only permanent left mid we have, so that's a big no. We've got Cardiff. You know what? I might have to make this a four-game episode. Yeah, we'll, put, we'll make this a four-game episode. Why not? There we go. Starting 11 for this game. I know Noon's a bit tired, but he did score in the last game, so he might be able to do a job. Um, so just make sure we have Amiobi on the bench. Yes, we do. Um, yeah. The only changes from the last game, Kashka in, uh, Murphy in, and Noon in from the last game we played. Oh no, and Vilcher as well. So we've, we've pretty much changed our entire midfield. The only survivor from midfield, Vela and Williams, the only survivors. Uh, Defence stays the same. They weren't too bad. Bear in mind they were up against Jay Rodriguez and, and Dwight Gale. Um, so I, I can't really complain about the defence. It's just going forward we looked not the best. Uh oh. Madhu Barrow. Ah, yes. Well played, David Wheater. Uh, oh no. And Remy Matthews with a comfortable save. I'd be very disappointed if he let that one in. Uh, 
And Vela, that was an awful shot. No idea what he was even trying there. Oh. Ref. There's... Right. For one thing, I don't think that was a foul. Definitely not a booking. But then they played advantage. Oh no, maybe that was a foul. But they definitely played advantage. And easy for Remy Matthews. Well, we're making it to half time at nil now. So, definitely an improvement on the last game. Or can we? No, we can't. Oh. Right, we have a, a long shot specialist in Luke Murphy. Maybe I can make, make the most of that. This is going to be a really boring episode at this rate. And never mind. And that's Beavers off. He's already been booked. And he's off. Why was the referee just telling Olkowski to leave the pitch? Right. Well. Hobbs, you are very much needed now. Uh, let's. Do we bring off Vela? Or do we go... Let's go... Hmm... Yeah, we'll go with... Go with that. Uh, <laughs> this is going to be fun now. Actually, let's go... 4-4-2 four, four, flat. Murphy Williams. Phil Chat Noon. Scott Kashka can go in the middle. The pitch, this should be fun. Six, onto the pitch, Comfortable for Matthews. This is a message for oh, come on. Supporters. At full time, can you please remain where you are? And we'll come to meet you outside. And terrible time. effort from Williams. But that's going to go down as a highlight. Come on, Kashka. Yes. Oh. Oh wait. One last attack. Pregnant. Oh, that was terrible. Nobody in there. But nil-nil. Down to ten men for half an hour or so. For in fact, nearly forty minutes. We were the better side. We just need a striker, so Josh McGinnis, please come back soon. <laughs> I think he should be back in the next episode. West Brom come in for Sammy Amiobi. No. No, thank you. We're at home to Birmingham. We should be able to win this one. But it's Bolton and we don't do things the easy way, so probably we will lose. Sammy Amiobi scored a penalty. 1-0 up in the league for the first time. It only taken us it's only taken us about three or four games. Is it gonna stay one nil? No more bookings, no substitutions or anything. First win of the season. That's the way we do it. And now Mike Beavers has completed his suspension. But I'm still mad at him. So this is the team we're going with. Uh, it's a bit rotated, but we'll see how this goes. This is going to be a tough game to tell who's who. And Billy Sharp, of course, goes onto it with his head, but easy one for Remy Matthews there. Come on. Another game of nothing so far. Right, so ultimate is uh, apparently really, really difficult to get anything. So I'm thinking I started to play really well when it was uh, four, 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 one. So I'm thinking I might play just as well on four, four, two. 
So maybe can any of these other players play striker? Yes, they can. Yannick Vilcher. Yes, let's. We're going Vilcher and Donaldson up front. Oh, okay. We forced Dean Henderson into a save. Good positive start into the second half. Let's have Craig Noon take this corner. Oh. Oh, come on, Vilcher. Craig Donaldson and. Is he going to get booked? Oh, come on, ref. You've got to book him. Never mind. Oh, Luke Murphy. Ah, oh, straight into Dean Henderson's hands. Yannick Vilcher. Yes, there we have it. 1 0. I might have to uh, switch it up a bit now and go 4 4 2. Uh, full time. I might have to just change my tactics for all matches. And that worked. Oh, are you kidding? After defending so well for 80 minutes, 85 minutes, we've just gone and conceded an equaliser. <sighs> we go again. Oh, Dean Henderson's just pulled off a decent double save there. Right. 1-1, one, one. I'll, I'm not too happy with that, the the amount of we conceded the goal, um, yeah, wasn't the best, but, you know what, we, we've played well there, up against Sheffield United, who in real life got promoted, of course, I suppose one all, you can't really complain about. So we've gone with kind of an experimental side a little bit. Um, again, I was going to say this a lot. But, yeah, so we've got Hall and Kashke up front. Connell on the left, he's a youngster, he's 17 years old. Gary O'Neill and Jason Lowe in the middle. Sh uh, Sammy Amiobi on the right. Mark Little at right back. Alfie Jones and Jack Hobbs at centre back. Jonathan Grounds left back. And then Remy, Remy Matthews at the back in goal. Uh, let's see how we get on. Jumping rounds. Can find Connell. Oh, that was a great ball in. More of the same, please, Luca Connell. Right, yes, Kashke. Connor Hall, yes. Through to Scott Kashke. Pulls it back. Sammy Amiobi. Oh. Played away by Leandro Bakuda Matata. Broken grounds. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh. Well saved by Alex Smithies. I'm sure that defied the laws of physics, but we'll go with it. Uh, no, we'll go with the Sammy Amiobi corner because why not? Oh, oh. Damore. Oh, out wide to Mark Little, who loses the ball to Kadeem Harris. Uh-oh. Alfie Jones, no idea what he's doing there, but it's effective. Mary Matthews rolls it out to Jonathan Grounds, who can play the ball down the line for Luke O'Connell, who leaves Lee Peltier on his ass, but then just gives the ball away. Oh, no. Oh. Patterson. Damore makes the tackle. And it's half time. Right. Better. We've actually created a few more chances when we've been playing 4 4 2, so. Right, come on. Sammy Amiobi. Oh! Wait, did that come off all? 
They've got Gedson Fernandez playing for them. Didn't even notice. Oh! Oh! Should have done better there, Scott Cashcape. Right, let's have another Sammy Amiobi special. This corner in the first half was good. This one, they're not able to get rid of, but we've just gone and fouled Alex Smithies. Mark Little was never going to get away with that one. Oh boy, seems discipline is going to be an issue in this one. Oh no. Callum Patterson. Yes, Amiobi. Nope. No, and of course, Gedson Fernandez scores. Alright, calm down. Oh, he's going over to celebrate with his manager, is he? Neil Warnock, because he scored against Bolton, a club in financial ruin, but okay. You do you. Anyway, and Gary O'Neill finds. Mike Little. What's Mike Little doing all that way forward? And of course there's a second. He just decides he wants to score so he goes and scores. And of course he's going over to Cyber with his manager again so I'm going to cut that short. Oh. Right. Well, at least we don't have to worry about playing in the cup anymore. Transfer offer for David Wheater. How about no? Transfer offer for Little. I can do it without even looking. Bye. Bye bye, Boa Vista. Oh, another transfer offer coming in. For David Wheater. Still less than what he's worth, so no. Another transfer offer, this time for Josh Baylor. He's worth a million pounds, so they offer 700. I suppose I've done the same thing in this episode. Transfer offer for Ben Anik. Nope. And there we go. I'm going to go off camera now. And scout some more players ready to maybe buy in January. I'm not sure when I'm going to put out another one of these. It'll be sometime in the next week. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, until the next video, I will see you then.